In today's video, we're gonna show you our super picture frame. What's a super picture frame? Well, it's an easy to make picture frame that'll hold up to 3,000 family photos. You wanna build one of these. Is the super frame oversized and overdone? Yeah. We all have smartphones these days and we take those smartphones everywhere we go. Day and night, when we're awake, when we're asleep, we're taking pictures of things, lots of things, weird things, and we show all those pictures to our friends. So with all of us carrying around smartphones and taking pictures of everything that moves, we all end up with hundreds of pictures, often hundreds of pictures per month, that we rack up and store somewhere. And if you've got a family with kids like we do, well, that turns into thousands or tens of thousands of pictures per year that you have, or where you display those. Well, most people put their pictures in picture frames like this and hang them up around the house uh, to enjoy. But picture frames are large and you can only have so many on the wall. So what do you do with those thousands of other pictures? Well, most people put them in computer repositories, maybe Flickr, maybe a hard drive or something like that, which means you have to go and look at your pictures and you can't enjoy them just by walking down the hall and seeing them. Well, we realized that that was a problem and we tried to figure out a way to have a picture frame that could show hundreds or thousands of pictures. And this is what we came up with. We took those large pictures that you would normally have hanging on the wall, and we used a contact sheet program that's used in photography to create icon size or postage stamp size printouts of those pictures. They're every bit as good as the larger pictures, they're just small. Well, since they're smaller, we can fit them on racks like this. So we built this giant structure on the wall and we put the pictures on it. We put 100 new family photos on this wall every year. There's 1,300 family photos right here that you can see. And we're a few years behind. So today we're gonna to put 400 new ones that are bring us up to 2018 and will bring us current for this. And when it's full, it'll hold around 3,000 pictures. By the way, have you noticed that the more cell phones that get into circulation, the fewer Bigfoot sightings there are? It's like he's hiding better or something. Now we built this thing a long time ago and we have a couple of pictures we took as we were building it, but we can't really show you how we built the structure because well, that's ancient history. So I built some new boxes to expand the size of this picture frame that we're gonna add here. And so we'll show you how we built these. And it's just a box with, with, uh, with slats in it that'll hold the pictures, but we'll walk you through how we did this. We'll put it on here and then we'll show you how we reduce these pictures and put them in the picture frame. You can do the same thing and you can have something as awesome as this. We started with some quarter inch thick Luan plywood that was some scrap that would just laying around. These were pretty small boxes, so we didn't need large pieces. It was pretty easy to cut it down to the size we needed. Then some one and a half inch slats were cut for the box edges and one inch slats were cut for the shelves that would go within the boxes. And then lines were drawn every one inch to show us where to glue the shelves. With the lines drawn to show us where the shelves would go, it was time to start gluing everything together. This is all pretty thin wood, so there's no need for screws or anything, just glue. The pictures that will go into the super picture frame are a little bit less than one inch tall. So the one inch spacing of the shelves gives plenty of room to fit the maximum number of pictures within each one of the boxes. This is pretty simple construction, which is kind of the point. Anyone can build this and it looks great after it's painted and up on the wall. Everything is clamped because clamps are good. Each box is lightly sanded to make it look semi-decent. And then both boxes are painted gray. We didn't have the original colors anymore because it was a long time ago, so gray we figured would be good enough. After the boxes are dry, they're inserted into the super frame. The one on the left is just held in by tension, the one on the right is held in by glue. 
Okay, that covers the super frame structure. So now you know how these boxes went together and kind of how they fit together. They're pretty simple to build, not hard at all. You don't need a lot of skill. They're really just a whole bunch of shelves to hold these miniature pictures. What is this? A center for ants? No, they're not miniature picture frames at all. They're just cutouts of glossy photo paper that we printed our contact sheets on. We print about a hundred of these per glossy sheet, cut them into squares, and then hot glue little beads to the back of them to give them a backer, and then we put them on the shelf. Why don't I just show you how we did that? The super frame looked pretty empty after we first built it, but there was plenty of room to grow. We printed off 11 of these sheets. That gave us 1,100 pictures to put in the super picture frame. I had three daughters living at home at the time, so there were plenty of hands available to set up the first round of pictures. It was a great start, but there was plenty of room for more. As I said earlier, we're behind a few years, so these are the printouts for 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018. A total of 400 pictures. The contact sheet is set for zero borders, so we don't have any white space to worry about on the edge of the pictures. We cut them into strips, and then we cut them off into individual pictures and drop them in a bowl. This is what 400 family photos look like. Then we laid each picture face down and oriented the bottom of the picture towards us. This will allow us to glue a bead onto the bottom of each picture. When we flip it over, it'll be oriented correctly. These are the beads, just square alphabet beads. They serve our needs perfectly. Next, we hot glue a bead onto the bottom of each picture. Some are vertically oriented, some are landscape oriented, but it doesn't matter because we know what the bottom is. We do this 400 times, and this gives us a backer for the picture. After all the pictures have their beads attached, we dump them back in the bowl so we can carry them over to the super frame. All right, we got a bowl full of 400 new pictures to put in the picture frame. Actually, we've already done it. They're already up here, but let's pretend we haven't done it yet. What we did was we took 400 new pictures and came over here and we used silicon to put it up here on the shelf. And we could have used hot glue, but it's easier just to squeeze some of this off and put the picture up rather than try to have a hot glue gun and connect all this stuff up together. It's a lot less hazardous and you don't get all those little runners you get with hot glue guns. Silicon's the way to go for this. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna show you putting about 400 pictures. We're gonna do it really fast. So here's a 2000 speed montage. So there you have it, 400 new pictures in the super picture frame, bringing us to a total of 1,700 pictures. Now, if you go back to the beginning of this video and you compare what you're seeing now to what you saw before you put these 400 pictures in, you're gonna say, well, it doesn't look like you added very much. Well, that's the point. Well, this thing will hold 3,000 when it's completely full. And you see 400 doesn't really move the needle much. We can have more and more and more added, especially if we add more boxes like these gray ones that we added earlier. Now. The pictures are very small, and one of the questions we often get is, well, aren't these too small for you to even really realize what's going on? It's a postage stamp. But I can tell you, as somebody who's got pictures up here from 1993 now through 2018, and in 2019, which is in a few months, we're gonna be adding 100 more, I can walk up here and I can recognize every single one of these pictures. A Disney trip, a wedding, um, a family dinner, all these things because these are pictures that we took and we recognize immediately. You will too if you do this. The small size isn't going to deter you. Where else can you get thousands of pictures on your wall than with the super picture frame? You really ought to build one of these. It's super cheap. It's super awesome. It is a super picture frame. It's great decor and everybody comes over and looks at it when they come over to the house. It's a lot of fun.
So the super picture frame is just another example of the cool stuff we build around here. Uh, if you like this, go back and look at some of our previous videos. We've got some pretty cool stuff out there and we're always making more. We have dozens and dozens of videos planned in the future and we're usually shooting three or four at once. So if you like it, subscribe, ring that bell, join us and we'll let you know every time we put something up and you'll see even more cool stuff. But for now, this is a super picture frame. You need one of these in your house because they're just freaking awesome. See you next time.